some of the conservatives in America. Now the RNC chairman, Michael Steele, is picking on Rush Limbaugh, calling him an entertainer whose show is, quote, incendiary and ugly. Really? With me now is syndicated columnist and best-selling author Ann Coulter. Her latest book is Guilty, Liberal Victims and Their Assault on America. Ann, is this what we can expect from the Republican Party? Oh, I hope not. You're going to get it. These, you know what? I, I speak from experience. Alcoholic. Wicked <laughs> alcoholic. Just drinking Jack Daniels like crazy until, you know, you're just like, until is, six that, months ago. is that vomit on my face? <laughs> so then I know what it's like to hit bottom. These people in Washington, they haven't hit bottom. They have no idea what bottom is. Why should we trust them? Seriously. I don't know if that was a question of hitting bottom. I, mean, I am very disappointed, and not because you can't criticize Rush Limbaugh. You can disagree with Rush Limbaugh, but that but is But his show buying... is ugly? No, that, that's what I was just going to say. That is buying into stupid left-wing stereotypes. That's like Scott McClellan coming up with all the stereotypes about Bush. That's just a suck-up to the liberal media. You know what? And I didn't expect it from Michael Steele, who, by the way, he was not my number one choice. Ken Blackwell was, but in the, since Michael Steele has been chosen, he has been so good on TV. He's been so funny and charming, so I'm really disappointed by that, because that's just what, recycling I mean, look, a left-wing talking point. I don't point. care what anybody is like in TV. I don't care what they look like. I don't care. Stand up for some right. values. Right. And you know what? If you go down and, and everybody hates your guts, Oh, well, right. stand up for what right. you believe in. No, that's right. And that was a well, big where, part of where what... Where are they? You know, 50, Where are they? I'll I tell mean, you where they are. Where are they? It's stunning. They're on radio. They're on TV. They're writing books. The conservative movement has the best talkers, the best no, no, thinkers. No, no. I just would like somebody... The ones in Congress. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, 58% 58, 58 of the American right. people, and I'm, I, it's around there, 58%, Media Matters not going to check this one because it doesn't help the Republicans, so 58% <laughs> so um, say that they think that the Republicans voted against Barack Obama just because of politics, and you know what? I happen to be one no. of those people. Yes. No. Yes. Three percent. Actually, what we didn't have three percent voting against it. Oh, sorry. Um, no, you got. You can't tell me, Ann Coulter, that there aren't a lot of Republicans in there that's going. Yeah, you know what? If I vote against, then I can be in the opposition, and maybe they'll look. No. But if they were, if Not it was, that many. if it was reversed, it would be the same damn thing. No, no, They'd no, no, vote no. the same no, way. No, 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 no. It's no. Now they can vote their principles. Um, some of them didn't vote their principles. What principle do they have? Name one. Name one. Besides small getting government elected. freedom. Really? Which um, one? Was that George Bush that gave us smaller government? Well, that was that that was the problem before. It's a lot tougher being a govern, governing majority. You have to get coalitions. You have to go along with your president. May I just? Bush. May I just? Heidi, who's normally Erin, she's dressed in the, the, the little pigtails today. She looks like <laughs> Heidi. We haven't had any hot chocolate, and now she's telling us we have to break. So hang on, just a second. <laughs> Columnist and uh, best-selling author Ann Coulter. I think we just wrapped everything up on the break. Yeah, we did. We were <laughs> sorry we were kibitzing without you. Um, so uh, I, I'm, I'm watching uh, in my office. I got a bunch of TVs, and um, I can't figure out how to get it to the Cartoon Network. So I'm, I'm watching. Uh, I'm watching all the news channels, and um, a network that shall not be named is. Uh, it was running all day today. The Rush Limbaugh stuff. And over and over and over again, and they're saying, is this the face of the new conservative? Right. Um, I, I listened to the speech, and I heard the network coverage on the other uh, right. not-to-be-named network. <laughs> and it was, it was some of the most hateful stuff yeah. coming out of it. Oh, yeah. That these people are hateful, right. et cetera, et cetera. I didn't hear anything that was hateful in there. I mean, I heard right. sarcasm in fact, and comedy. I'll give you a couple points on that. One was when the network that will not be named um, checked with... Uh, um, really kind of kind of a moronic commentator, Bill Schneider, whom they treat as Socrates over at the station that won't be named. He, he comes on and gives his analysis of, of Rush's speech and said, but he's so angry. He had such an angry tone. He That's was so angry. Okay, as he's saying that, right next to him is running the video of Rush Limbaugh talking. He's laughing. He's smiling. He's joking. It was, it was like a sketch from the old half-hour news hour. You... And the other thing about this that I noticed, because I was there, and some of my friends or, you know, guards and, and publicists and so on who hadn't been to a CPAC before, one thing that is overwhelming about CPAC 
is all of the hot babes. Um, I'd be a conservative if we weren't so good looking, but wow, we have a lot of pulchritude on our side. And meanwhile, uh, I'm <laughs> no, it's not me. I'm quite disheveled. No, I'm just saying. No, I'm disheveled for a, a Republican. Babes. Um, the males are pretty good looking. They're pretty much like you, but we do have, do have a couple of nerds. Okay, the other stations would find the dorkiest looking person, the most empty room at the convention that had 9,000 participants and fixate on the one dorky looking person. Look, um, I mean, they, we're, 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 what we're doing is retreading, I mean, ground that like And the we other all thing know. I wanted to say about what you were just saying, this obsession with is Rush our leader, is Rush our leader. I finally figured out why that bugs me so much. Power, right wing and conservative power has always bubbled up from the bottom. You, Rush Limbaugh, came out of a very strong legal family. He goes on radio, gets fired, gets fired, gets fired. Free Republic, just some guy out in California, Joe the Plumber. It's always been bottom up. Sure. Not with the Democrats. Oh, yeah. no, they have a Nazi collaborator, literally. Um, international financier George Soros funding their phony grassroots organizations. So they look at Rush and say, Who's funding you? Well, Rush Limbaugh's funding Rush Limbaugh. Oh, yeah. He's, it, and Rush, you could fund me as well. It'd be all right with me. I wouldn't say no. Um, you know what? I have to say, I'm a little, I'm a little hacked off uh, at CPAC only because this is the era where you can just coast. And I've liked being number three because nobody gets up in the morning and is like, I want to take on number three. You know what I mean? Nobody. And the poll came out. And I looked at this. I looked at the next morning. I got up in the morning and I said, Oh, geez. I said to my wife, I said, we've been voted, what, what was it, Grash, the, uh, your favorite media personality, either on TV or radio? Rush Limbaugh, 26, 17, Glenn Beck. I actually I have to tell you the truth. When I saw that, A, I thought it was wrong, and B, I saw that and I thought, I can't believe my name is even on that list. Yeah, but you at least have a TV and a radio show. I note there's one person on that list without audio. And by the way, that it's the <laughs> end of it for you because the fairness doctrine is coming. So yeah, I know. glad you sailed past Cindy Sheen right. on this one. Thanks so much. <laughs> Good Ann. to see you. We'll talk to you again. Uh,